All right, if you look at question number five, it says uh, find the area of a right triangle with a leg of six feet. So you know it's a right triangle. And one of the legs is six feet. The hypotenuse is three root 13. Okay, so again, for this type of problem, begin with the area formula, one half base times height. Well, we have our base right here. Again, we could assign it to either of the legs whenever you're dealing with a right triangle uh, using the base the two legs that form your right angle to be your base and height is probably the ideal approach to it and so all we need to do is figure out what the height is here's our height and so we have three sides involved one is unknown so a couple different ways you can find missing pieces in a right triangle you could use Sokotoa trig or you can use Pythagorean theorem. Which method would you want to use here to be the, kind of the quickest or easiest method? Pythagorean theorem. So if you set up the relationship that 6 squared plus h squared is equal to 3 root 13 squared. And now, a number of people have had the same question. And when I watch them do their calculations, let me show you uh, why many of them are missing this problem. If you're going to use the solve feature, okay, so let's say I call this x. Okay, a lot of people are entering this the following way. All right, 6 squared <coughs> plus x squared is equal to 3 times the square root of 13 squared solve for x. Okay, if I type it this way, What's going to happen? I'm going to hit enter here, and so the answer that it's going to get is incorrect, but I want to show you what happens. When you see this, you're, I encourage you to look back at the display of your calculator because it shows in the display, it gives a little more information as to what the calculator is calculating compared to what you entered, especially when it comes to order of operations. So the way that I entered this, order of operations say you're going to do what first? Are you going to multiply this 3 by the square root of 13, or are you going to take a power of 2? Exponents come first, right, in order of operations. They come before multiplying. And so, and you can see it up here, that my, the calculator has interpreted the square root of 13 to the power of 2 to apply only to the root 13. We know that it needs to apply to the 3 as well. So what I would need to do when I enter this is make sure that I have parentheses around my whole quantity, 3 root 13. And then the power is applied to that whole grouping. And so now when I hit enter, uh, that is my solution. So plus or minus 9. Well, can you have a negative 9 for your height? No. So your answer will be 9 for x, which is your height. And then half of 6 is 3. 3 times 9 will give you the measurements that you're looking for. Okay, be careful on that calculation. I think I've, I already saw it twice today with students doing that, those problems. Okay, so be very careful when you calculate that through. Okay, any other questions?